there's a property called auto generate columns we want to set this to false you should now see that the uh, columns have now disappeared and we now have summary and completed columns so that's the grid view completed okay let's save that page and um, I think we've got all the controls ready to uh, do a, a test at the moment but um, before we do this test we're going to have to add some functionality okay uh, let's start making the code to load the data into our grid view we can do this by right clicking on the page and selecting view code this will show us the code that runs behind the uh, ASPX page so we've got a function here called page load now this is a method that is called when the page is started to be loaded in so good good start really so we want them um, we want the grid view all loaded with data and then you know hopefully we'll have it all presented so let's get started uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, start typing to do um, to do data set table adapters so we need to make an adapter first and I'll explain why in a minute so to do list table adapter we'll call it to do that equals new right so the table adapter so what this is the um, this is the connection to the database uh, and allows the layer between the connection of the database and the table data set so this will allow the um, SQL to be populated and use the results from the SQL to push the data into our data set table okay so now we've got our table adapter we're going to get the data set table now so start typing to do and you'll see we've got to do data set so we've got the data set there we then want the to do list data table so start typing that we'll call it to do table equals new so that helps instantiate our table so now it's ready to be instantiated so now we've got two objects now we've got the to do adapter and we've got the to do uh, table the next thing we're going to want to do is populate that table from the database table so we need to use the date the, uh, the to do adapter Put that in, and there should be a function called fill and this function basically runs the SQL to go and get the data from the to do table uh, when it gets results it will push it into our to do table so that's what we're going to put in our parameters so to do table okay and this what this will do will push all that data in and we're ready to use that data for the grid view so to do that we need to start typing in the grid view name so grd to do yeah brilliant and we need to tell the grid view what its data source will be our data source is going to be the to do table now that's not all we need to do we've just pointed to the grid view that uh, we're going to be using the to do table however the grid view hasn't found, found the data yet so if we start typing that in and say data find okay what this function does is it starts looking at the data and starts working at how it can put that data into the grid view uh, table uh, in this case it will be the summary column and the completed column it will bind okay let's save that and if we press control shift v build our, build our SP application and um, yeah, I think we're ready to give it a test so if we press F5 five now that is interesting the reason why this has happened is because we've got no uh, data in the um, the to-do list application so we've got no data in the database for to-do list so we're going to have to close that web browser and stop the application and we're going to have to go back to the database and add some data inside so go to server explorer right click on the to-do list table and then click show table data and there we are you can see there is nothing inside this table so in order for it to present something on the web page we're going to need to put something on the database table so let's fill in the summary as you'll notice we shouldn't be having to put in anything for the to-do ID as we put in 
the um, identity uh, set up. So let's put in the uh, summary in. So we'll just call it test uh, completed. We'll say false, and then date started. We'll say zero seven four slash zero four four slash two thousand and ten. There we go, we've got some data in there now. Save that. And let's give the web page a run again. There we go. So you can see now it's got data, it's now been able to present it. So now we've got test in there, and the checkbox isn't checked because we've set the completed to false. Okay, so um, this is going to be part one of this to do list application. Uh, part two, we're going to be um, making the insert part on the web page so we don't have to go through the database anymore the user will be able to insert its own to do's and then after doing that we'll be able to click on the completed tick box as for now can't tick on it but I shall explain later how we get this working thank you very much for your time in watching this uh, I welcome your feedbacks and um, I hope you get to see the next part very shortly soon thank you very much